Hi, it's Robin, dermatology nurse practitioner, and I've just finished my clinic this afternoon at the Western Children's Health Centre in Laverton. And I've seen loads of little babies with nappy rash. So I wanted to take the opportunity just to pop on and have a chat to you about the best ways to prevent and treat nappy rash. So firstly, it's really important to change the nappies frequently. It's the wee and the poo sitting on the skin in the nappy area that causes irritation and leads to nappy rash. So really awesome if you can change the nappy as soon as you notice it's soiled. The second thing is that you only need to use water and a soft cloth or cotton wool when you clean the nappy area. You don't need to use anything else. Just gently pat the area, try and avoid rubbing. Um, and even if you can allow the nappy area to air dry, if you have time, that's fantastic too. The third thing is that you need to use a protective nappy balm. My go-to is this one. This is Dermal Therapy's Little Body's Nappy Balm. It is awesome because it contains zinc oxide at 15% to provide protection. And it also contains panthenol at 5% to help soothe and repair. And you can pick it up at Woolies or Chemist Warehouse Australia White. So awesome that you have a good nappy balm that you can use. The other really important thing is that you're putting it on properly. So you need to use it correctly for it to be effective. So let me just give you a little demo of how much you need to use. So it comes in this hygienic squeezable tube. It's spreadable without being greasy, which I also love. Put it on. I often say to parents like you're icing a cake. You want it to be there next time you go to change the nappy because that's when the wee or the poo will be causing the irritation on the skin. So put a thick layer on like you are icing a cake. The other important thing, let me just wipe that off, is to remember is when you're bathing, just use a straight through wash, you don't need anything else. Don't use bubble bath, that can also be irritating for the nappy area. And of course, some nappy free time is awesome. Um, as much as possible, if you can, allow your baby to have 15, 20 minutes of nappy free time every day. Um, and lastly, if you are using cloth nappies and your baby has nappy rash, it's a good idea just to switch to disposable nappies because they're more absorbent while your baby has nappy rash and that will help it repair quicker. So I hope that's helped. If you have any other questions, you can send me a DM or chat to your maternal and child health nurse or GP um, and someone will be able to give you a hand. Have a good evening, everyone. Thanks, bye.